am very excited to be joined this morning by Brad Wewell of the Wewell Law Firm. Good morning, Brad. How you doing? I am doing great. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you so much for being here. I'm, I'm looking forward to speaking to you and hearing all about what you guys do. Can you talk to us, first of all, about Wewell Law Firm and what you specialize in? Sure. We're an estate planning probate law firm. That's all we do. We do wills, trusts, Medicaid planning for older people, special needs planning for folks that have frankly, incapacitated family members, and we do probate when people pass away. That's, we're great at it. That's all we do. Now, fantastic. Uh, I do want to know why it's important for people to have a will today. Can you explain that to us a little bit? Right now, with the coronavirus, the heightened attention to dying, frankly. Most people think that dying is a theory, but it's a reality. And when you leave, see the numbers, it makes it scarier. If you die with a will, you get to control where your property goes when you die. You get to control who gets it, when they get it, how they get it. If you die without a will, you give up total control to the state government because the state government through the legislature has written a will for you. You don't even know what it says, and it's an awful will. And for instance, if I pass away and I've got a child from a previous marriage, even though I've been married to my wife for 30 years, if I had a child from a previous marriage, I'd die without a will. My child gets my half of everything, and my wife just gets to keep her half of everything. How crazy is that? There's a lot of important factors that go into it. A lot of important factors. That's just one example. It's an awful example. It's a true example. It happens all the time. Wow. So really important stuff right here. Now, Brad, what besides a will is actually needed, especially right now? What's really needed now besides a will are medical documents. You need a medical power of attorney, a Texas medical power of attorney, not a California, Connecticut power of attorney, a Texas medical power of attorney, a Texas living will to pull the plug, something happens. Mm -hmm. The most important thing you need is a HIP release. HIP is a health privacy law. If you don't have a HIP release and you're in the hospital and you're unconscious and you can't give the hospital permission to talk to your loved ones, they cannot and will not talk to your loved ones because under federal law, it's private. Now, I want to know what the problem is with people using Internet or legal Zoom to prepare their will. Can you explain that a little sure. further? We deal with that all the time. We deal with it when people die and they bring them in. Our probate lawyer, Ann Lumley, would tell you she has never seen an Internet will that worked well, that worked as intended. Because you get it, you pay 35 50 bucks, 25 bucks for it. I mean, what do you expect to get? Mm -hmm. uh, it's just going to be something that some computer programmer put together. Maybe there's a lawyer in the background someplace. It's a generic thing. It's, again, we haven't seen it work well, and it can be a problem. And the problem shows up after you're dead and you can't change it. So you need to go see a qualified lawyer who can do it right, do it well, know that you got it, sleep better. You guys aren't just keeping us safe by making sure that we have a proper will, though. You're also keeping us safe right now by making sure that folks are safe to do a drive-by signing when they come to you. <laughs> yes, Explain to us a little bit more about what you're doing right now to kind of right. pivot. So we have people come in to sign their wills and trusts and such, their powers of attorney, their medical documents, and we call it drive through signing. And they come into our parking garage and... We come out and we're masked and gloved and we have witnesses and notaries and we pass them a clipboard that has been sanitized and we've gone over the documents before, but they just sit there and they sign and they initial and sign and initial and sign. They hand it back to us. We take it back to our office. We scan it and copy it for our file. We put it in a binder. We sanitize the binder. We bring it back to them. They take it home. Well, that's fantastic. And thank yeah. you for doing your part to keep folks safe and, you know, to keep us very well informed with what we need to do when it comes sure. to uh, making a will. Now, Brad, it's been lovely speaking to you. I do hope we get to see you in person at some time in the very near future. You stay safe, you stay well, and we'll see you soon, okay? You bet. Absolutely. The WeWell Law Firm is here to help give you peace of mind. For more information, you can call the number on your screen or visit them online at texastrustlaw.com.